All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. Ever since the early American rigs began finding their way to the UK, the demand for citizen band radio was met by a number of changes in legislation. It's no longer necessary to hold a license to operate a CB radio, and over the years, additional modes have been added. The following charts display the relevant frequencies for each of these modes and are also available to download on the link at the bottom of this video. November 1981 The UK channels that were legalised on the 2nd of November 1981 are on two blocks of frequencies, 40 channels on the 27 MHz band and 20 channels on the 934 MHz band. Both of these used FM frequency modulation and both were unique to the UK. The 27 MHz band frequency allocation and related information is shown here. September 1997 The set band arrived in September 1997, giving us 40 more channels, the original US FCC AM MIDS frequencies. Now designated EU1 to EU40 with the new 4 watt FM European standard, paging systems there previously were given until 1996 to move down slightly to 26 MHz or change to a new band at 49 MHz. If you're new to this channel and would like to see more CB related videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button below and watch out for new videos uploaded every Wednesday. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit the like button or leave me a note in the comments section. Also, if you're new to CB radio, watch this video through to the end to find out more about the free gift I offer to all of my subscribers. New CB sets were to be marked PR27GB to a new MPT1333 specification based upon the SEP technical spec ETS300135 and the license fee went up to £12. Some antenna restrictions were also lifted as full size aerials were now allowed. twenty fourteen. On the twenty seventh of june twenty fourteen, the AM and SSB bands were made legal to use using approved equipment on the European band. This also allowed for additional permitted power in SSB mode of up to twelve watts. It may be useful to keep a copy of these frequencies by your radio so that you can refer to it when necessary. Please refer to the download link in the video description below. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and as a thank you to you particularly if you're new to CB radio or returning to it after many years I've put together a free information series called the beginner's guide to CB radio which I'm sharing with all of my subscribers. To find out more click the link in the top right corner now.